Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing oh. well. And I have come up again with a book review of a new book that I started reading. Uh, this was the first book I had picked up in the year 2021, and I want to share what I feel about the book. So before uh, before moving further, I want to tell you uh, a little bit about the author. The book that I uh, recently had finished reading is uh, The Loneliness of Hira Borua, and uh, this has been authored by Arupa Patak. Kalita. Uh, now, Orupa Patangya Kalita is a very well known public intellectual, a very well known Assamese author, and uh, she had won uh, the Sahitya Academy Award for Assamese Literature in 2014 for this particular book. Uh, but this particular book in Assamese uh, has a different name, uh, it is known by uh, Mariam Austin Othoba Hira Borua, which has been translated into English recently in 2020, uh, that is last year, by Ranjita Biswas. And um, I had picked up the English version of the of the book, and it is a collection of 15 uh, stories. And uh, these stories are based in different Sorry, time. The lines. first six stories of the book. Uh, is uh, based on is situated is uh, written um, during the time of the Assam agitation uh, in the in the past decades and um, it is written uh, these stories are based during that time and the rest of the stories are based on the contemporary time uh, focusing specifically in my view the millennial generation that is our generation so uh, so let me first talk about her a lot talk about the stories that she had written um, of the times uh, the, of the Assam agitation. Now, what happens in Assamese literature is that uh, Assamese, um, the society, our culture, uh, Assamese society and our culture is based on the memories and the memory making of the time of those struggles, uh, those, those times of struggles where uh, the entire community seems to have uh, had come, seems to have come together since then time, the, that time to protect uh, the integrity and uh, the cultural identity of the Assamese people. Uh, so it had a, a very different, uh, now that we look back as uh, scholars or as ordinary people, uh, now that we look back in the, uh, uh, into that uh, uh, phase of, the, of uh, Assamese history, we find different dimensions and different ways of looking at it. But then largely Assamese literature is... Uh, is mostly i'm not saying uh, it's uh, or, or in total but mostly as miss literature has always been used as a tool is uh, pro propagate the popular idea of this uh, 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 of the assam agitation as the basis of the uh, present uh, uh, socio cultural and understanding of assamese identity and the political uh, understanding of assamese identity at large so assamese literature has been consumed uh, with uh, this idea and this has been uh, Assamese literature itself has played a major role um, in igniting those popular sentiments and those uh, uh, feelings of uh, towards the motherland uh, of our previous generations. Now Patangya over here is uh, stands as an exception and this is why today I have picked up this book. Uh, to talk about what she actually tells through her stories. So her stories very, uh, very, uh, very uh, has a very different and distinct position in Asmi's literature because it is not, and I'm not saying that she is the only person who looks uh, the, into Assam agitation in this uh, in this way. But then basically she is one of those few authors who went out of. Uh, uh, outside of this popular sentiment and popular culture that was propagated um, uh, in time in history in the past few decades in the past last decades of Assamese uh, society or Assamese literature <clears throat> she is she stands uh, against the wave she is one of those few public intellectuals one of those scholars and one of those few uh, authors who have stood against uh, the popular culture or the popular wave of looking and uh, glory the uh, Assam agitation. Um, having said that, uh, she just doesn't, she is not uh, outrightly and or outrageously against Assam agitation, but more than looking into the popular sentiment or the popular, uh, yeah, popular ideas of sacrifice for a motherland, Arupa Patangya actually looks into the everyday of uh, everyday lives of people uh, during that uh, 
particular point of time when the entire uh, state was boiling uh, with the uh, with with the ideas of revenge with ideas of protecting uh, with the sentimental ideas of protecting one's motherland so having read this book i see that there's a different opinion that i can look into that uh, that uh, it gives me a different lens to look into the events that must have happened there and how they had affected they must have affected the ordinary lives of um, everyday lives of the ordinary people uh, she will arupa patangya uh, will actually knock you off uh, the grounds that you stand uh, thinking that uh, assam had a glorious past of uh, Uh, where where people came together ag- agitated for fought for their own rights over their own motherland so this is something that stands in a unique position and in my view it made me question a lot of propositions that i have uh, a lot of thoughts that i have about um, uh, the history and uh, um the the uh, the lives of people who have lived through that uh, phase or that that time the dark time of struggle and hardship so she looks into the everyday um, everyday lives of people and then she would pick up uh, for instance she would pick up a girl and her desire to cross dress uh, which was supposedly a uh, not a very welcoming or pleasing thing in during that period of time and she uh, nevertheless goes and uh, she does it because there's the uh, durga puja comes just once in a year and then she had planned the entire year what she is going to wear but and eventually uh, when she cross dresses the kind of treatment she gets these kind of uh, um, these kind of uh, these kind of stories actually force you to think uh, twice about your own assumptions and would actually force you to question uh, the basis of a lot of things that we had taken uh, uh, a lot of elements of our culture that we have taken for granted um, and that we take pride on it's a very interesting book because uh, in every story you'll find different styles she at times uses magical realism she at times uses social realism and uh, she at times uses narration to bring out some uh, questions to the forefront uh coming to the stories where she handles the contemporary uh society or the or the people like for our generation the kind of stories that she writes uh this is something that is uh, not unique i would say but this is something the way she writes is, is definitely unique and uh, she t- uh, takes up very uh sensitive questions like uh, loneliness of elderly people uh the death of a public intellectual otto whose whose health is failing and who eventually dies a uh, a lonely uh, grandmother who um, who is uh, who has no other company other than a dog so that that is how that is how she handles things and it's it's very sentimental i would say uh, the way she handles the contemporary stories is very sentimental and obviously uh, you'd have a personal touch i would i could find myself in many of the stories there especially the last one i could relate to a lot of things because i had personally faced them in my these questions that uh, the story raise the stories raise i have personally faced them in my uh, personal life so i could relate to them the only thing uh, that i had a little bit of issue with the stories that she handles uh, specifically the stories that she writes about the contemporary world is that uh, in many ways uh, while questioning uh the younger generation i felt like she's uh, she's being little judgmental but then obviously that doesn't uh, that is my personal opinion and in no way does it reflect the reflect in the styles of writing or in a way uh, she writes about her story it's a beautiful read and i must say that um, ranjita vishwas has done a very uh, beautiful job in translating this book from assamese to english you wouldn't feel like uh, this is a uh, you're reading a translated book as a translation it is a tremendous job that ranjita vishwas has done and if you're trying to look locate or uh, even know arupa patangya kalita as a author or as a public intellectual i think this book and if you don't know the language assamese uh, the assamese language i feel like um, this book the loneliness of hira borua uh, can be a very good introduction to patangya's vast work and her stance as a public intellectual and a author and an author and i hope you like it i hope you find this uh, 
uh, hope you found this uh, book review helpful and i and if you uh, if you if you anyway pick up this book please let me know uh, in the comment section how you have found this book and uh, that's all for today um and i will meet you soon with a new book uh, probably in the coming following weeks thank you so much